Artificial intelligence, or AI, has stopped being the stuff of sci-fi and has entered the real world. Today, machine learning coupled with vast data sources can help us type faster, create new forms of music and food, and better manage our busy lives. But the potential of AI is even greater. In the future, it could cure major illness, transform urban infrastructure, and even radically change what it means to be human. So, what is AI? The field of artificial intelligence is really about creating computer systems that can emulate the functions that, that we exhibit as humans. And this grander idea of being able to design a system that can solve any problem. We talk about artificial intelligence, but I can't go outside right now and talk to a robot. So where would you say AI is today? Where we are today is narrow artificial intelligence, where we're designing systems to solve very specific problems. What we'd like to get to is general AI, and that's much more like the intelligence that's exhibited by humans, which is our ability to learn from data just by observing it. People are getting really excited about AI now. Why is that? People are getting very excited because we're at a crucial moment. Really, we're seeing AI solve speech recognition, solve language, and enable driverless cars. And these are all technologies that we as everyday citizens interact with all the time. So thinking about the near future, what will AI look like in five years' time? I genuinely think that artificial intelligence will be embedded into every connected device and that we'll have digital assistants that will be performing a lot of the mundane tasks which liberates us to be more creative with our everyday work. So looking further ahead, I mean, where will AI be in 50 years? So in 50 years time, I think the possibilities are genuinely endless, but we may be interacting with virtual assistants in the same way that we interact with our parents or our friends. But I mean, do you think that AI can be dangerous? There are certain risks, because if AI spreads across the fabric of society, we need to have predictable ways in which it functions so that we can avoid cataclysmic situations. And so why do you think it's so important that we celebrate pioneers in this field? What's interesting with the nominees is that they span the entire spectrum of AI, and I think it's increasingly important to shine a spotlight on scientists who are dreaming a better future for the world and really trying to reimagine the way that we live and the way that we work. And why do you think we have such a deep fascination with artificial intelligence? We have a fundamental fascination with understanding why we are what we are and what makes us human. And by studying artificial systems that help us model the way that we understand our brains to work, we can learn more about how we work. Much like its road-going sibling, this Audi RS7 Sportback has a top speed of 189.5 miles per hour. This, however, is no ordinary Audi. It's piloted, there's no human at the controls. Audi has been pioneering this technology since 2009, and in that time, its piloted cars have tackled the Bonneville Salt Flats, scaled Pikes Peak, and navigated city centers. But these are just the first steps in the journey of AI in cars. And it's a journey that will be safe, smart, and efficient.